and to have me killed. It's probably my safest option. I could see why you would think so. It's what your father would have done. And what would your father have done? My father, who publicly sentenced me to death. I'd say his thoughts on having me killed were abundantly clear. Is that why you killed him? Someday, if you decide not to execute me, I'll tell you all about why I killed my father. And on that day, should it ever come, we'll need more wine than this. I know what my father was, what he did. I know the Mad King earned his name. So, here we sit, two terrible children of two terrible fathers. I'm terrible. I've heard stories. Why did you travel to the far side of the world to meet someone terrible? To see if you were the right kind of terrible. Which kind is that? The kind that prevents your people from being even more so. Well, I did reopen the fighting pits. Under my rule, murder will once again become entertainment. Yes, that was wise. And you agreed to marry someone you loathe for the greater good. Very impressive. My own sister married someone she loathed as well, though not by choice and certainly not for the greater good, God forbid. She ended up having him killed. Perhaps it won't come to that. It's not impossible that Varys was right about you after all. Varys? King Robert's spymaster? Yes, he's the one who convinced me to come find you. He was my traveling companion before Sir Jorah seized that role for himself. Jorah sent my secrets to Varys. For 20 years, the spider oversaw the campaign to find and kill me. He did what he had to do to survive. He did a lot of other things as well, things he didn't have to do. I suspect he's the main reason you weren't slaughtered in your crib. But you trust him? Yes, oddly. He may be the only person in the world I trust. Except my brother. The brother who killed my father. That's the one. Perhaps I will have you killed after all. Your queenly prerogative. I'd given up on life until Varys convinced me you might be worth living for. If you chop off my head, well, my final days were interesting. I'm not going to kill you. No? Banish me? No. So if I'm not going to be murdered and I'm not going to be banished... You're going to advise me. While well, you can still speak in complete sentences. Advise you on what? How to get what I want. The Iron Throne. Perhaps you should try wanting something else. If I want jokes, I'll get myself a proper fool. I'm not entirely joking. There's more to the world than Westeros, after all. How many hundreds of thousands of lives have you changed for the better here? Perhaps this is where you belong, where you can do the most good. I fought so that no child born into Slaver's Bay would ever know what it meant to be bought or sold. I will continue that fight here and beyond. But this is not my home. When you get back to your home, who supports you? The common people. Let's be generous and assume that's going to happen. Here in Slaver's Bay, you had the support of the common people and only the common people. What was that like? Ruling without the rich. House Targaryen is gone. Not a single person who shares your blood is alive to support you. The Starks are gone as well. Our two terrible fathers saw to that. The remaining members of House Lannister will never back you, not ever. Stannis 